Hey guys and welcome back to another video. It's not World of Warcraft because honestly I just don't have the time today. Warcraft Daily will be out and uh, while I was planning to have my Maradon video up, it or Maradon, um, unfortunately just the way the time frame of stuff's worked out, instead we will be doing this because it's easier to record. So, Spelunky, um, I have no idea what this game is but I keep on hearing things about it on the internet and I'd imagine that so do you guys so this, this is quite literally the first time I have ever played the damn thing, and uh, it's supposed to be a bunch of fun, so let's see what kind of thing is going on here. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I literally have no idea. Although from what I hear, you end up dying a lot, and uh, I guess watching other people die on the internet is supposed to be fun. I'm currently using a gamepad because, well, if it's a shooter or something, I don't use a gamepad because, well, obviously, but... For something like this, it's better you guys don't get to hear all that keyboard madness. Um, so I've picked up a journal, let's have a perusal. My name is Yang and this is my journal. Dusty maps and rumors of amazing trow, I care, I still don't give a shit. Something very strange about the place, the layout seems to change all the time, never seen the same room twice. The legendary curse of Olamek, they say his traps can trap people in caves and, and stuff, and yeah. Okay, you know what? I don't think anyone of us care. Oh, what? Okay, so I'm this guy. Right, so X is my whip. B doesn't seem to do anything at the minute. Okay, so A is to jump. That is a... Uh, okay. Can I... Oh, oh, so can I like... Okay, so just like Mario. This is cool. Haha, <laughs> take that bastard. Oh, this game actually feels really nice to control. Um, to be fair to the thing, in terms of its graphical style, what's this? Okay, so RT is a sprint. In terms of its graphical style, it's actually quite nice, and I guess now that we're adding in this sprint, there's a decent bit of depth to the game's movement. Um, oh, you can, uh, you can do a crouch. And, okay. So this actually is feeling really good to play at the minute. Um, by the way, I got this on Risk of Rain on the uh, Steam deals uh, about an hour ago, I think. So I was definitely quite happy with that, because Risk of Rain is supposed to be perfect. Not perfect, what am I saying? It's supposed to be very good. This actually, this game feels nice, it's really rewarding collecting things. Um, it's, it's got a lovely art style. And I'm guessing I just go to the right, because that is the norm in this kind of game. Okay, so let's head on down. Oh, okay, I totally meant to do that. See, I'm just a natural uh, ninja. Ah, oh, shit, balls, no. Ah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I may have fucked that up a little bit. Right, this is just the tutorial, so let's just blast our way through the damn thing as quickly as we can, and then we can get on to the main game. Interestingly enough, every time I collect one of these billions of gold, it is converted into dollars. So, it's a good thing the cash for gold are around the place to back us up. It's interesting, so you have three lives, but things like spikes seem to be an instant kill. I suppose that makes sense, given how this game is supposed to be very much uh, a thing that kills you easily. And yeah, I'm not going to voice act that guy, because uh, I know I can't do it. Alright, so we hit X to kill you. Um, I suppose we just do a, like a jump whip. Take him out. Grand. These boxes, okay, so we can destroy that, and uh, we got bombs. That gave us some more money, which is fine. Right, so what can bombs be used for? I'm assuming for destro- Oh, Jesus! Yeah. Okay, well, the bats were far less uh, scary. So down in B, we'll place a bomb. And that explodes. Okay, so the terrain's destructible. That is cool. Um, Why is not doing anything for us at the minute? So perhaps we need to go down here to unlock that. Yeah, there we go, some rope. All right, mechanically, this game actually seems to have quite a lot going on. There are a lot of different Oh, that's cool. That is cool. There definitely seems to be a lot of different movement methods, so... Yeah, I'm feeling like there's quite a bit of depth in this. Uh, oh! Ah! No! Go away! Jesus. <laughs> what is in the pot? Oh, come on, let me have the pot. Thank you. There we go, got my pot. Uh, got some gold, which is fine. That's exactly what we want to do. Okay, I kind of get what's going on at the minute. I'd like to get into the main game. Ah, oh, damn it, it's one of these jumps. Probably going to be the cause of a lot of death, so we could go and risk that, or we could just go through the door and be safe. Let's just get through this guy's story. 
Ah, tutorials. It's not a bad tutorial, at least there's some gameplay in it. Right, so down and X, what does that do? Huh, down plus X, it... Huh? Oh, wait, I see, so if I'm down and then I hit X, can I, like, pick that up? And then I can throw it. Okay. That's kind of cool. Alright, so... Well, why the hell when we can just kill that thing instantly? Um, I'm assuming, though, we are going to need this for later. Oh, look, a shop. So we can buy things. Well, that's cool. I'll just buy one of those and one of those. Okay, a little bit of an issue there when you kind of drop down from that and your guy automatically uh, like grabs on. But I suppose that's just probably me being bad at controlling the game. Uh, we push through in here. We can find some things. That's kind of cool. Definitely seems like there's a lot of secrets. Uh, well, not secrets necessarily, but uh, stuff that you can destroy the terrain to access and cool little mechanics like that. So let's try to not kill ourselves by doing that. Another interesting thing, movement, there's no acceleration, really. Um, as soon as you let go of the control, then that's when you stop moving or start, so that's nice. It feels very responsive, which I guess is very important given how this game is one of those precision platformy games, and it does have such a harsh... Uh, oh, wait, there's... There was a person to rescue there. Um, okay. <sighs> let us roll. Ah, and so it begins. Thank you, Steam Achievement. I don't know if that'll pop up for you guys. Alright, time to roll. Some, uh... I don't know, what kind of art is that? That looks kind of... Um... Mayan? That sort of... Like, uh, Latin America style thing? Alright, into the main game itself. Let's not jump on those spikes. There are some spider webs up there, but you know what? Spiders are gen- Ah! Take that. Okay. Um... No way to get up here at the- oh, okay. Yeah, there definitely is a very interesting movement system in this game. I like it, actually. It feels really fantastic. I'm not too sure how well this is would actually translate over to a keyboard, but oh. Oh, wow, there's falling damage. It actually, it feels really fantastic with a controller. So I could go through there, but what I've seen of other YouTubers um, play this game is you kind of, like, you want to go around the level first. And try to find cool shit. Which does make sense. The more resources you have, it, that's probably going to be a good thing. I uh, still not really got the hang of some of the jumping. Whatever, let's just go on to the next level. Perhaps we'll find something exciting. I know, I'd like to know what people sort of think of this kind of video. I'm really nervous of what to call it because I don't want to be compared to like a Total Biscuit WTF is, but... That said, one guy cannot have the entire, like, monopoly on on first impressions videos. That says, undoubtedly, he does do a far better job than anyone else. Okay, so spider webs, that's actually kind of cool. As you move through them, they disappear, but they still have their movement speed debuff. So, okay, can't get through there for some reason. So I suppose what that means is, like, that's a really good way of game, ah, oh, I hurt myself. That's good for game design because people can sort of still try to escape through it, but there's a good feeling of tension because, well, you definitely feel like you're running out of time and because you're moving s oh, wow. Okay. Um, I died. Let's go again. Hopefully I can get at least one decent play through this, and, uh, that'll get us a good video. Okay, mines, one, one. Uh, oh, are rats evil? Okay, rats are our friends. That, that's- oh! Okay, so when I see one of those things, I need to bloody well watch out, because they're dangerous. I can pick up the arrow, so, that's good. Oh. Oh wow, this this is an evil game. <laughs> wow, you do not want to drop things. So if we can try to get up here, get some of these jewels. It would be nice if I could uh, at least manage to find my way to a shop so I can show you that. Um, let's see, yeah, I'll have to go through here, up there. Grab that. Two and a half grand, so we're- oh, shit. Right, B is bombs. That's something I should remember before I bloody well kill myself. Oh, okay, that's a spider. It was a spider. Okay, I like the way you can drop things. Um, well, we should probably rescue her, so we'll use a bomb to destroy that. And, yay, we didn't kill her. Hello. Oh, shit. Uh, will you be my friend? Okay, so... 
We are literally just grabbing her. Um, well, that's one method of saving someone. Other slight worry is that I am a tad stuck at the minute, so I'm going to need to use a bomb to get out of there. Hopefully, I can make my way back. And I miss... Oh, actually, never mind. I think she's just stranded up there. Well, uh, sucks to be you. Or, oh, no. Shit, I'm out of bombs. Yeah, I'm really bad at this game. Uh, it is only my second time, so I suppose that's fair. Oh! Huh. Okay, so I kind of just walked into that thing and it didn't kill me. I don't know if that's a bit of an oddity in the game, or perhaps it's only falling damage into one of those that's really the danger. Whatever. So now we have 12 grand. We've done a pretty good job. And uh, let's move on to the next stage. Kill him. Okay, I'm... The uh, jump speed is actually definitely a little bit lower than what I'm used to. Oh, okay. Spiders move in a very spidery manner. Ah, cheapers. Holy crap, spiders are dicks. Is it like a rock we can throw at it? No. Oh, okay, right. Well, turns out if you're a ninja... Oh, that's the wrong button. Turns out if you're a ninja, then really the problem is essentially solved. Let's jump around through here, get some more gold. I'm really worried we only have two lives, though. Like, that's a problem. So, we'll grab you. Oh, shit, that's the wrong button. <laughs> okay, game. I'm not really too keen to the whole damsel in distress thing, but whatever, we'll... We will roll with it for now. Ah! Oh, can we... No, that didn't work. So, I was trying to use her to kill the spider. And it didn't work. Ah! Die! Ah! You two! Ah! Gee, what? What is that? Oh! Fuck balls! Um. Okay, last life. As as you can see, I'm terrible at this game. Or Max, you know what? No, let's do the daily daily challenge. Let's see what that is. Because I saw that on the way in. So we'll end our adventure here. Oh, th this game can uh, can kind of scare you sometimes. Why do I hit continue? No, I want to go to the main menu. Alright, play game. Daily challenge. Let's have a look at this. I think it's some sort of leaderboard style thing. Maybe there's a set dungeon every day or something like that. I'm not particularly sure, honestly, but it seems like a pretty cool idea. Um, yeah, so maybe it's just a set dungeon. Well, that's fine. It's starting, off, um, starting us off with a stone. So at least we have some resources to make do with. Um, not a terrible deal in this level. I wonder if this game's time trialed in any way. Interesting to know. Um, this is really... Okay, another interesting thing I've noticed. Sometimes it's really hard to get back up vertically. So you do, I suppose, have to actually plan your movements and think a little bit more ahead than I have been. Having a stone, it's kind of like having a best friend. <laughs> Very useful. Okay, that's, that's totally, yeah, having a best friend, totally useful. That, that doesn't sound like a complete uh, sociopath thing to say. I, it feels a little bit awkward, that whole jump. Oh, okay, that thing has a skull on it, so let's not go anywhere near there. Um, yeah, jumping down from things does seem a little bit awkward at times. Let's just um, escape that hole. Oh, damn it, I keep on punching them instead of picking them up. Okay. And we will escape. I wonder what you get for rescuing. Um, hello? Oh. Well, just like Indiana Jones then, I suppose. Oh, okay, this is a new kind of level, so we can't see a thing, which means we need to carry this torch around with us. Okay, well, that's that's a cool mechanic, I guess. <laughs> it's definitely a bit harder. Uh, uh-oh. There we go. What was that? Did you see that kind of, like, thing that was glitching around there? Hmm. Not really too sure if I trust it. Kind of cool music as well in this game. It's nothing, like, tremendously special, but it's solid and pretty good. It sounds mysterious, at least, and I suppose that's really all you want. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet. This does require, li like... It's funny, a decent amount of thought and precision. Oh! Uh-oh. Okay, so... Uh Ah, I'm taking too much damage at the minute. I really am. Come on. How do we light you? Oh, okay, so I need my... I need my torch to light other torches, but the problem with that is I actually left my torch behind. So, we'll grab her. 
and oh <laughs> and there you have it folks that is Spelunky uh fuck Spelunky but it's actually really fun so there you go you can probably find it quite cheap on Steam um, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry for no Moradon lore video. That is coming in about two or three days' time. Tomorrow I will be releasing my top five raids of all time. It's quite a nice little video, about 35 minutes long. So it should be a good bit of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.